Here we're going to learn about polynomial functions of higher degrees. So before we can move on, we need to learn a little bit more about what a polynomial actually is. Okay, let's look at some graphs of polynomials. Oh, not a uh, polygraph test, a polynomial. All right, first off, they are continuous, meaning they're going to look something like this. And they can go up, down, they just can't. They still have to pass the vertical line test, and this one would. All right. That's a polynomial function. This one is not because it is not continuous, right? So it is not a polynomial function. As you can see right there, it may end if it's not continuous, it's not a polynomial function. It's something else. They have smooth rounded turns, all right? Looks like that. They are not like this kind right there. They cannot have sharp turns. That's more like an absolute value particular thing. So the polynomial function will be, looks something like that some curves in it usually, all right? No, I would have to have some curves. All right, now then, here we go. Our library of functions about our polynomials. So here's what we have. The graphs of polynomial functions of degree one, so in other words, a degree, remember, is the exponent, the highest exponent on the x. So if there's not a number there, it's always one. Those are lines, those are lines. And if it has a degree of two, which means it's an x squared, it's parabola. All x squareds are parabolas, and all like just y equals x or 5x or something is a line, all right? So those are polynomial functions. And you'll see them written a lot like this here. It'll be some number, x to the n power, then you'll have another term, n minus one term. Usually the exponent can go down. You can skip some. Hence, and usually the, sometimes you have the last term there with not an x in it, all right? That is the definition of a polynomial function. Basically, it is a function with some x's. The most common ones you'll see are like x squareds and x cubes, all right? These are the simplest ones to graph. If it's odd, it'll be similar to an x a cubic. And, you know, if it's even look a little more like a quadratic, all right? And this is, the very, this is a cubic function. f of x is x cubed. It's a cubic function, all right? And it can be summarized in a sense the following way. Here's what a cubic function looks like. Looks like this right here. That's a cubic function. Notice as you think about it, you can have negative values in there because a negative times a negative times a negative will be negative, and it will come from negative infinity. And as it gets close to any have fraction numbers, the numbers get real, real small, but and you do equal zero at zero, but it never stops increasing. So we know we have a domain because it's not limited any. It's not a square root or it's not a rational function. So the domain is from negative infinity to infinity. The range will be the same because it's starting down here at negative infinity and goes all the way up to infinity. There is an x and y intercept at the origin, 0, 0, and it is increasing in a sense from what? Continuously. From if you read left to right, remember it's only the x values. It would be negative infinity to infinity. That would be the cubic. But polynomial functions are going to be continuous. Usually it has some curves and you're going to see x squared, x cubes, even x to the fourth and some other things like that. Right? This one particularly is an odd function. If you turned upside down, it would look the same. It's also symmetric to the origin. That would be the reason for that. Right? As, there it says, symmetrical to the origin. All right?